So things are going to look really chaotic for the next few weeks. I've just made myself, quarter to 11, I've just made myself <laughs> some of the um, potato and leek soup I had in the fridge. I've been batch making soups. Such a good idea. I just love a soup maker. I love soups right now. I've been batch making the soups, putting them in glass Tupperware in the fridge. And then we've been helping ourselves. We've been having like starters before our dinner of soup which is so nice like soup of the day um i'm actually going to pop to aldi shortly when i pick Aaron up from preschool and i'm going to get some more ingredients to make more soups i will link the video down below where i've made these soups so you have the recipes icy water and soup is my thing at the moment so hello welcome back to my channel sorry about the weird start but i'm having like a full-on autumnal day today i've just been doing some worky admin bits and then i made a list of things i still need to remember to do before we move house started making my christmas gift list i need to get christmas done before the end of november as in like everything purchased everything wrapped everyone sorted stockings christmas eve boxes gifts for family like there's a lot I need to do in the space of quite a short amount of weeks <laughs> because we're about to move house so that's just going to take a big chunk of time out. I'm heavily pregnant and giving birth at the beginning of December and um, I need to bring that Christmas magic um, just forward a month because if I don't get it all sorted in November so it's ready for Christmas I'm not sure I'll get a chance with a newborn baby and a toddler in a new house and blah 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 so <clears throat> yeah i just started that this morning um our ends at preschool i mentioned before he goes to a forest school probably one of the best mum decisions i've ever made is send him to a forest school i know it's not available to everyone just because they're quite a new concept so i don't think they're like all over the country they're kind of few and far between but um, I highly recommend them. He has happy learning experiences, natural learning experiences. He's really good in all weathers. He's really good with all sorts of creatures. He's learning how to look after the planet. It's just the most wholesome thing ever. Um, I really like the teachers there as well, but today's one of those really cold, rainy days. He's absolutely fine. He loves being outdoors. And I'm pretty sure when you're outside more, your body your immune system works better so so yeah i'll pick him up from that soon um <clears throat> but before then i'm gonna enjoy my soup i make my soup really cayenne pepper heavy <laughs> so it's really quite spicy but it's so delicious this is a leek and potato one i used the last up in the fridge so i need to get some more ingredients from aldi today we're gonna pop to aldi have a look at their autumnal bits see what they've got in I'll probably do a little Aldi haul. Also, whilst I was eating my soup, I thought I need some people to ask. And do you know what? Every time I ask you guys a question, you come through in the comments, in the emails, in the Instagram messages. It is literally like having a big group of friends. It is just the handiest and most lovely thing ever. So I thought, well, I need help with something. So I'm gonna ask you guys, carpets. Carpets are very controversial. Do you choose to get carpets or not is a controversial topic. I know some people are like really anti-carpet and some people love a carpet. <clears throat> I'm a bit of both. I love carpets, um, especially for like bedrooms and stairs. I like hard flooring as well, especially downstairs where like you get the main traffic. But when we move to our new house in like a week or two weeks, we're gonna need to replace the carpets. Um, they're very, very old and worn. They're bright red and patterned. Can't actually remember what that they all look like. They really need replacing. One thing I thought that is something I want to get sorted before baby's here. 
let's normalize moving into a property and taking our time. <laughs> Because there is so much pressure on social media to move into a house and make it literally picture perfect um, and get it all renovated and add extensions. First of all, that is a hell of a lot of money. Um, and second of all, I, let's just normalize like moving into a home and just breathing for a bit, thinking about what you want and then doing it properly, like being conscientious with how you're sort of spending the money you have on your home. Um, so regrets aren't made and I don't know I just like I get this like, massive pressure to go in and sort it all out really quickly um, but I'm gonna take a breather we're just gonna do the carpets we're gonna start with the carpets and then we're gonna work our way around the house through the rooms I'm gonna have a newborn baby soon I'm not gonna rush I'm just gonna really enjoy our house as it is at every stage I'm looking at doing the stairs and the bedrooms Everything else will have to wait. Um, I've been ordering tons and tons of carpet samples, as you can see. By the way, the uh, olive sourdough bread from the co-op. I just wanna say a big thank you to the lovely girl who told me about that because one of my favorite loaves now. The carpet I have in mind, which I really, really like the look of in a house. We're moving into, um, an old house it's, it's a, like an old property stone built property so character and tradition about them because that's the type of property so i'm thinking a wool loop carpet i really like the idea of wool loop so when i say wool loop i mean something like this where it's not like that really soft velvety carpets you get like this this is like what I would describe as like a more modern soft velvety carpet. Like, don't get me wrong, this stuff is so soft and it feels lovely, but I'm looking for something a bit more hard wearing. Wool is such a good heat container. It's so good for all weathers, like it keeps you cool and it keeps you warm. So I'm thinking wool is a really good material to use and um, longevity wise, a good idea as well. I've had these lovely soft carpets in properties before and I found them super difficult to keep as clean as they are because they, the, they're so soft and clean looking. I find very, very quickly they don't look as good. Um, whereas a loop, you've got a bit more distraction to the eye because of the type of style. Who's got loop carpet? I need to speak to you. Um, we've got different designs of loops like a thicker loop uh, of wall carpets, like a thicker loop. But Lawrence and I were saying how this one looks like loads of mini croissants. And that sort of put me off. <laughs> Cause I don't want a carpet with like billions of little croissants. Um, so I'm thinking like a tighter loop like this. So this one was actually ordered from the floor room, which I just had a look online and First of all, the floor rooms are really expensive one, so I wasn't gonna go with them anyway. But they've gone into administration, so um, I definitely can't use them now. So I'm trying to look for something that's quite, it's quite similar, but like, so they're similar in terms of loop. This one's actually a lot lighter, but it's not showing up very well. It's quite dark outside. Um, so this, thinking it feels really tough and this is wool but i think it not sure on it again this is like a really nice soft one i'm so tempted by these because they just feel so lovely under the foot don't you just love the smell of carpet of new carpet no i just think they just because they look so neat straight away they end up looking not neat very quickly this one's cut from a company called brinton's called bell twist silver sage so this is like a greeny gray I think this is too dark to be honest. I think I'm gonna go like really bright beige cream colors. Ordered some from Korma Carpets. This one, one of my favorites. This is Korma Carpet. It's quite a tough one. It's quite a tough wool. It's called Hilltop Hay, no, Vellum, Vellum color. It's suitable for extra heavy domestic use. I just feel like with kids, it's extra heavy domestic use at all times. Um, but not only that, I want the carpet to last as long as possible. And there is like, is this herringbone or? 
cream chevron. I like the ones from Tapey because they come with so, so much information on the back, like flame resistant, stain resistant, um, keep warm during the winter, suitable for dry areas, suitable for sunny areas. There's moths and dust mites, like wool is quite good against like natural bugs and stuff like that. I would love some advice. I would love to talk to you about it or if anybody has recently replaced their carpets or has opinions on it do let me know because it would be really handy to know but that is what is going on in my mind at the moment when we move to sort that i'm gonna finish my soup i've got a little bit of time before i need to go to the preschool get my little guy and then we're gonna pop to aldi pick up some bits for dinner uh i'm probably gonna have one of these after my soups these are so good they're the outrageously chocolatey biscuits from m and I love the dark ones. Um, but I'll probably have one of those after my soup. And then we'll pop to the shop, see what Aldi has in store. Do a little haul if I buy anything. Um, I'm trying not to buy too much food. I'm trying to just like keep things really low key in the fridge and freezer. <laughs> this every autumn and winter <laughs> um i just made a little snack box for orin i always pick him up with a snack box and put this on his lap when we get back in the car and he loves it cream cheese pretzels and apple slices um and then if he wants anything else when we get home he can have something else um so i'm gonna go pick him up now and then we're gonna go to aldi <laughs> set the scene and Lawrence is ruining it for me. I'm walking in with the bags for you. Sets the scene but <sighs> anyway I, we just got back from Aldi as you've seen we went to Aldi. There's some cool bits in. Yeah you want Formula One on. Got some cool bits in. They've got Christmas stuff in. They've got that stuff in that just comes out early every year because it's like non-perishable. So like lots of different crackers and biscuits and stuff like that, but it's coming. It's officially coming, which is so exciting. Let's do a little haul. This kind of feels so itchy all of a sudden. Just banana pouches. Uh, we mix this with Greek yogurt for my little guy because that's what he loves. Um, I'm going to make some like autumnal flapjacks today. So I've got like pecans, um, I've got a fruit and nut mix bag. I'm gonna chop lots of things up and make it really nutty and fruity. I haven't had um, flapjacks in ages because I made them in my first trimester. I've really put myself off them. Um, if you've watched my channel before, you've probably seen that I always make homemade flapjacks. I made them today. Uh, I've got some chestnut mushrooms, I've got some tomato and ravioli, tomato and burrito ravioli. This stuff um, is so nice from Aldi, it's a really good quick lunch. So I thought we'll just whip that up, might have that now and share it with everyone. So I'm not very hungry. I've got some of these because um, they're like the perfect treat size and after preschool I get them in like a nice healthy lunch and then I thought occasionally one of these following the lunch. Um, I've got some oranges just to eat and also I'm going to make carrot and orange soup. 
tin tomatoes we've got some meatballs in the freezer that need eating so i'm trying to think of like what we can use up now from tomatoes we got some porridge oats i've been eating porridge a lot lately i've been really enjoying it in the morning frozen brussels sprouts just to chuck on the side of dishes now it's that time of year i personally love brussels sprouts so more of those would be good petit pois um, I think tonight's dinner I might make like a chicken and rice. Really haven't had that in such a long time. So I might make like sriracha chicken and rice. Got a couple of mozzarellas just because we've got pizza somewhere in the bags. Um, we always add a bit more mozzarella to pizza. And making pasta dishes. It's just handy to have mozzarella in the fridge. White potatoes, some pecans, pecan halves. So I'm going to chuck some of those into our flapjacks today. Pecans to me are like a really this time of year type nut. I have got some more basmati rice because we've run out. Jersey milk, my milk loving little toddler. Mm. He has milk um, with cereal and also a little cup of milk before bed. More leeks because I'm going to make some more leek and potato soup because that is probably my favourite one. Um, but it's just so handy having that soup in the fridge got some cucumber mm -hmm. got some brazil nuts and then we've got a couple of pizzas for the weekend takeaway stuffed ones so cheese and tomato and pepperoni big bunch of bananas we have a banana every single night before bed and i'm telling you makes you sleep better we got some salted butter which is primarily for the flapjacks um got 12 eggs 12 eggs um garlic naan also we've got the latest special buys which is halloween special i love going through the magazines oh has anyone tried this i've seen this everywhere at the moment it's like the kfc yeah southern fried chicken thighs and drumsticks barbecue baked beans ah. peri peri chips <laughs> it does it's had some good reviews i'm not gonna lie and then i've got a card and we're gonna send it we're gonna write a nice message for the vendors post it this week oh yeah nice yeah yeah with our numbers on it yeah 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 some half pizzas these are super handy for someone <laughs> to have at lunch time but we're not having them today but when i picked him up from preschool yesterday with pizza my gosh oh. you were happy weren't you i thought these could go in the freezer yeah. and again they could be I like a little it. surprise lunch some candy floss grapes because they are the best right now i eat them at the whole punnet at once i've got two butters which are the west country butters some double cream i've got some of the mascarpone sauce which goes into our quick and easy ravioli pasta thighs for chicken thigh right chicken and rice and more chicken thighs for a chicken curry we love chicken curry don't we Oren? no <laughs> yeah you do he loves it no Paris eats more and more butter yeah um, i love it you do don't you Right, I'm going to pack this away and catch up with you when I'm doing the flapjacks. Hello, we are about to bake some flapjack. I've got a little helper with me making flapjacks today. Yes. My babes. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to list the ingredients I use here. If you followed um, my flapjack recipe before, uh, I'm pretty much keeping it the same, but I am taking out a couple of bits like flaxseed i've really gone off flaxseed i think because i used it at the beginning of pregnancy and just the taste of it i've really gone off of it so i'm not going to add it in i normally do to my flapjacks i'm going to add different types of nuts and fruit into the flapjacks because we love nuts don't we do you love nuts yes yeah i'm just going to start by chopping up nuts measuring out the oats, adding some lots of honey and um, sticky stuff to keep it all together, some sugar, and then we're gonna bake it. Get all of your ingredients in a bowl, chopped and ready. Chocolate, um, I love chocolate to eat. 
You do love chocolate to eat, don't you? And your butter, combine it all properly, put it in an oven proof dish. It is chocolate. And bake it for less than 10 minutes. Don't bake it for very long. And then let it completely set. And then you've got some delicious, super powered, yummy snacks. It's actually the next day now, um, Oren's at preschool. I've just been doing some worky bits and sorting a couple of bits out for the new house. I found um, a really nice new farmhouse style kitchen dining table with all the chairs on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm really hoping we can go and collect that in a couple of days. I absolutely love Facebook Marketplace. It's just got so much. It's always worth looking there. I feel very accomplished. I've just finished some emails but I'm going to make some soups now for the fridge just because we've got no soup in the fridge and for me it's like the easiest go-to thing at the moment. I'm going to make carrot, parsnip and orange soup. I'm not going to add too much orange because Lawrence doesn't like orange flavoured things too much. went to the National Trust the other day and I had carrot orange soup and it was so good it was so delicious. So I've got some parsnips in the fridge, got lots of carrots. So I'm going to do carrots, parsnips, bit of celery, onion, veggie stock, and squeeze of orange juice and some hot water. And then um, when serving, just put a bit of double cream with it. So let's just make that now. Um, and then I can batch it, batch it up in some glass lunch boxes for the fridge for the next few days. Thank you. 